Hey, Poste Prof is back. <laughs> oh, he's in his office now. He's got I his am, little yeah, I'm, I'm serious. sorry, I dropped early. I have no idea what happened. I was on my phone. I dropped. I don't know. <laughs> Stream uh, doesn't agree too well with phones. It's a bit. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't work very well. Uh, how are you guys doing? Fantastic. Yeah, alhamdulillah. So uh, I didn't normally want to come on the show. I decided that I should maybe just drop by because Hamza uh, said I could come and present my arguments or you know talk to you guys. And uh, he was saying that I'm just disrespectful and all that. And I thought, hey, why not just sit down and have a respectful discussion about things and you know present actual problems with Islam and why I have problems with Islam and so on. So. Um, I want to say that uh, I find it personally a big waste of time to discuss uh, theism and to discuss specific uh, moral arguments, the societal uh, expectations and problems and all that. I have my major issues. I always have had my major issues with Islam when it comes to uh, Islam's scientific claims, uh, logical claims, the historicity, how Islam integrates uh, past religious beliefs and elements uh, and how it, in my opinion, corrupts them. Uh, for example, um, one of the major issues that I have is the Kaaba. And uh, I would like you guys, I, don't, I know that we don't have enough time to discuss that fully. I will have to uh, go very soon. Sometime I have to uh, deal with my children. But uh, I have a major issue with the Kaaba because the Kaaba is at the center, at the core of Islam, yeah, of, of, of Islamic belief. According to the Quran, the Kaaba was the first house that was built for uh, Allah. And it is right there at the center in the mother of cities, Mecca. And according to the Quran, again, uh, Allah gave uh, Abraham and his son the mission, uh, Ishmael, the, the mission to establish the Kaaba for him and then to um, set its final stone and then to go out into the world and to tell the peoples uh, to come to the Kaaba and to uh, visit it and to circumambulate it and so on. So uh, when you look at the Islamic narrative, what you see is that the Kaaba is a hugely significant thing right right at the core of islam i mean everyone knows that it is right there at the core of islam the narrative is that abraham himself was given the kaaba and he was given the mission to spread the word about it yet when we look at the history of the kaaba we see that uh, the kaaba is not found in history Christians and Jews who uh, were the people who ran with the Abrahamic tradition and history had no idea what a Kaaba is until Islam uh, came forth in the seventh century and started you know, becoming relevant in the world. So how do you guys exactly uh, explain that, for example? Is that a discussion that you guys have? How, how does that exactly work? To me, it seems that... You. Yeah, to, to, to me, it seems that the Kaaba why, why is simply... Why does it bother you? Well, because to me, it seems that the Kaaba is a, is a pre-Islamic yeah, pagan why does it Arab... Bother you? You're, not, you're not a Muslim, so you don't have to believe it. Why, you, why well, does it bother you? Well, because it proves Islam wrong. How does it prove Islam wrong? Because the Kaaba is, uh, as it seems, a pre-Islamic Arab uh, pagan element, which Muhammad uh, simply incorporated into the Islamic religion. It has nothing to do with Abrahamic uh, religion. And it can you prove that? Like well, you can, can you? I mean, it is very reasonable to, co to come to the conclusion that it has no connection. Well, no, you're to making the claim. Religion. Can you prove it? I can prove that it has no connection to Abrahamic religion. Well, man, prove it. Yeah, I, I can prove it. Here, well, it, has, it has, it has, it has, uh, it takes no place within uh, the Abrahamic biblical scripture. It has no connection. It is not uh, within the knowledge of Jews and Christians prior to Islam. There is the proof. It only came into existence. That's an ad ignorantium fallacy. That's not proof. That's an ad ignorantium. Okay. How about you explain? Well, no, no, you made a claim, mate. Okay, okay. I leave it to you. How do you explain it? Don't no, 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 no. You, you made the claim. I would explain it. Okay. Well, you, you can but Hamza, Hamza, I, I asked you. No, I asked, no, no, you asked, no way. Asked, look, 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 look. You made a claim. You brought your proof. Astagfirullah told you that's not proof. So have you got anything else? Okay, I asked you the question, right? I mean, that was the initial thing that I that I did. I asked you the question. So the Kaaba is at the center of Islamic belief, and it makes certain claims about the Kaaba. But those claims, when you uh, look at it, cannot be proven, cannot be properly verified. And but yet the Kaaba is at the foundation of Islam. How do you explain that big lack of uh, information, of evidence? How do you explain this huge gap between the Islamic uh, Kaaba and Abrahamic religion, when Abrahamic religion evidently has nothing to do with the Kaaba? What do you think the religion of Abraham was? It's not rather, it's, it's I mean, uh, 
how is it relevant to the issue? How, how can you explain the thing? How no, can you explain why, the, why, 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 look, why, you're why acting like uh, Islam was invented in the seventh century. Well, my question would be this: If you want to really go, go on. on that route, is why would a, why would the son of a slave woman be important to the Jews? Why would the religion? Why would something established by the son of a slave woman be important to the Jewish tradition and the Christian tradition? That's that's not the point, though. I mean, uh, that point, because that's where the Arabs <laughs> that is, come is, from. But it is they Abraham himself. Wrong. It is Abraham himself, isn't it? That who is who is given the task to establish this yeah. according to the Islamic uh, narrative, and uh, it is Abraham and his son who spread this whole thing to the world and this is what this is what allah wants from humanity but as you uh, can see for thousands of years nobody even regarded the kaaba as something important nobody even knew about the kaaba until islam came forth Again, that's how does that make sense is, that, that's pointless to even bring up i mean it's a fallacious reasoning it's just how is it fallacious not, i mean it's an ignorantian fallacy it's absidence of evidence is evidence it's not evidence of absence <laughs> I mean, I, I mean, look. It's even not, if, if one of no, look, Rivan, it's nothing to laugh at. That's a fallacious argument. That means that you're wrong. <laughs> that's just, it's, that's it's, it. it's it's yeah. it's not a, it's not a fallacious argument. What is it is? Uh, right. it, is, is it is. I mean, it, it is it is a major claim that Islam makes about history of religion. And yet, and yet, you see that Rizwan, Rizwan, Rizwan. Let me just clarify a point that Asadullah just made. Do you believe absence of evidence is evidence of absence? No, in the case of uh, Islam, when it makes such a big claim, however, no, no, the claim, as, as a principle. Claim, okay, can you please let me speak? In, in the case of Islam, when it makes such a big claim, which concerns the entire foundation of the Islamic faith, but this claim cannot be verified, and we have a lot of evidence to the contrary, such as uh, that. Abrahamic religion had no connection prior to Islam with the Kaaba, then I would accept that we have reasonable no, evidence no, you, to believe that the Islamic claim is false. You d we, no, what you have is, even within the Islamic narrative, we have this understanding that the pagans changed everything at the Kaaba. Right. And, and, and made it a polytheistic place of worship. Can you prove so, that? So, so let, me, let me comment no, this, on that, if you don't mind. Yeah, after, you, after, you, after you use it, let me finish your point, Charlotte. No, 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 it's gone. No, I was going to say exactly your point. Uh, Islam never makes the claim that it's been a house of monotheism since Abraham until Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. We never make that claim. It is clear during Fath Mecca, right, the conquest of Mecca, or the entry of Mecca, that the Prophet, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, went in and destroyed all the idols. So we're telling you, you, have, you, know, you know this information because of us. We're telling you there was a house of idols. So obviously, for a long period of time, it was uh, switched from monotheism to pagan, pagan belief and have idols. Now, if we entertained... Your, your, your question, right? Uh, although the brothers already demonstrated that it's not really logical, okay? Uh, because of your premise. But if we entertain that you said Christians and Jews don't know about it, that's not true. Just because they don't believe it, for whatever reason, because otherwise they have to accept Islam, right? It doesn't mean it's not there. You know, the Bible, uh, Psalm 84, talks about a valley of Becca, where there is a temple called Beit El, house of God, right? Where it is outside of Jerusalem, not in Jerusalem area. Now, Throughout history, the Kaaba has been the only place of a house of worship that is outside Jerusalem. Now, some people try to say, oh, it has to do with the Temple of Solomon. Huge, huge mistake. Because Solomon is the son of David. This was a psalm by David. And at the time, there was no Temple uh, of Jerusalem. No Temple of Solomon. So the only place that was the worship of God, Beit El, is the Kaaba. And we have clear demonstration that David at the time was running from, from I don't know whether you know the history of uh, uh, who Saul is and th these people, he ran away from the king at the time and he stayed there for a while. So when he came back, he wrote a psalm about how much he misses this place where people go in congregation to the house of God. The only place we know on earth that people go in congregation, and the word pilgrimage is mentioned there, by the way, in Psalm 80, uh, 84. The word people go on pilgrimage to a place called the Valley of Becca. Now okay. we know the new name Mecca is called Becca as well. It's mentioned in the Quran. And the Quran gets it so right to the level that when the Quran mentions Mecca prior to Islam, Allah refers to it as Becca. But when Allah talks about Mecca during Islam, he calls it Mecca because the name was changed. Now, there are plenty of references where you can find this information. Uh, now, we ask, where is this place? It's called the House of God. People go in pilgrimage. That is not Temple of Solomon. And that is a way that David has to come back and visit. So it is there. It's also mentioned in Isaiah 60, where people bring flocks of sheep to the sacrifice in Beit El, House of God. This is prior to the Temple of Solomon. 
Okay, uh, so one major issue here is that uh, this is mentioned in the in the Psalms. It's a popular uh, uh, argumentation that is that is brought up. I already uh, addressed that before in different uh, talks. The issue here is uh, the value of Becca. It says in that same uh, in, in that same book. Uh, it mentions it in context with uh, people going on their way to Zion, which is Jerusalem, which is a place in, in no, Jerusalem, at the center of is. Jerusalem. That's not what Zion is. Zion, oh, Z Z Zion according to the, to the historical uh, Jewish tradition, is uh, the center of where God's representation of, uh, you know, where God's representation on earth is. It could be the, the tabernacle, it could be the right. room. And at the, in the end, it was it at the, the center Kaaba. of Jerusalem. Yeah, it could be the Kaaba. It, it, it can be more than one how, thing. How? The Kaaba can be included but, in that. So let me, how? Let me you mentioned you that it could be two The issue things. is, you brought up one thing, which is let that outside, you outside, you outside of Jerusalem, there is no such place. That is according to Okay, according to the according to the Torah, uh, Abraham built more than four temples on his path throughout the Middle East, throughout these throughout these places. Uh, including have, Mecca. No, no, with, no, we have no record of him going ever down to Mecca. Okay. There is no such thing. Okay, no problem, no problem. No problem. Uh, Becca so is also joke. mentioned oh. within the within the. Okay, just just one moment. Becca is also mentioned within the within the Bible as a place that is uh, has has always known to be to be refer referring to a place surrounding Jerusalem. Now, if that no. one valley of no. Becca refers to Mecca, and Jews had that book with them all the time, and that was and this was so praised and sung, the Psalms are not a joke. I mean, the, the Jews have been singing that forever. Then why did nobody ever know about Mecca? Why did nobody go? They, they, they did. That's why people come. That's why rabbis have converted to Islam, no. Inclu including the Samuel. Well, you don't know who these people are talking about, including the, including the Samuel, including even Abdullah ibn Salam, some of the prophets, and many, many ones. Just because you don't hear about them, that doesn't mean it's not there. There were books. There is a book called Ifham al-Yahud, Silence in the Jews, written by a Jew who became Muslim. He a, a, was a physician, a scholar, and a rabbi. His name is Samuel. All right, we wrote a book about this. So there are plenty of evidence out there. Just because you don't have access to them doesn't mean it's not there. Now, I'm talking about a sanctuary. A place called House of God, in a place called Becca, that is not in Jerusalem, where David, Dawood, was had, had fled, had to run away far from uh, Shaul, from Saul. Now, where is this place that we're asking about? Where, where is your evidence that this Becca that you're talking about around Jerusalem had a sanctuary? What is this sanctuary called Beit El? So, uh, let me read the part. I mean, it's Psalms 84, 5. Blessed are those whose, uh, whose strength is in you, whose hearts are set on, on pilgrimage. As right. they pass through the valley of Baca, they make it a place of springs. The autumn rains also cover it with pools. That doesn't sound like Mecca at all. No, no, that's, that sounds like Gimzam. <laughs> that sounds like, wait, wait a second. See, you don't know the difference. Historically, you should know this. There is a well there. Oh, of Zimzim. course, but yeah, yeah, but yeah, that doesn't sound and, like and, and, a place and, of springs. When you go to and, Safa and Marwa, no, listen to me. There's a well there. Right, that's what it's talking about. It's giving you an indication of a place called Becca. Right, you know, uh, falsely, a lot of people try to translate it as the, the valley of weeping, the valley of cry. This is all false because there is, is a noun, it says ha baka. There's a definite article ha, which is like ton or ho in Greek, and then baka. So it's a noun of a place that has a sanctuary, it's been there forever, and there is a well there. You just mentioned it, and a place for pilgrimage. Mecca fits the criteria 100%. Give me I don't place. think it fits it at all, the, the, to be very you. honest. Give, it, it give, me fits, a, give me a place. It fits very many places around uh, Jerusalem. Name which, one. Ge name one. Geographically, name in, one. Gen in general, it is geographically much name more. Name a place. Uh, much, name that fits that criteria. I don't, I don't. I don't have to name a place. I'm saying it is. You do, the, the region is, you do have to name a place. Can you listen to me? It is geographically much more suitable to what is being described here than, oh, than, than, than Mecca is. What you are arguing here is that Kaaba or Mecca was addressed here in this Bible verse, in these Bible uh, chapters, and yet people have completely lost the connection to it. We have no connection to the Kaaba at all. If you look at the, at the history of the Kaaba, uh, up until two or three th three centuries before Islam, we have no record, no rep because, record. Because it turns to House of Kaaba. Pagan. Because it turns into House of Pagan. We already told you that. How, how do you have proof for that? Because the Prophet Muhammad last when he walked in, he destroyed the idols. Okay, do you have proof that it was turned into a pagan house by people? Yes. yes. No, you don't. How, how listen, proof? listen to me. Listen to what I'm saying to you. We're telling you right now that even the Bible, you know, affirm that Ismail and Hagar went to the wilderness of Paran. Now, every single rabbi, every learned Jew will tell you that Paran is the Hijaz. Where Mecca and Medina is, that's true. That's not true. They will is say it? that the Paran is south of the is of the Israeli borders. They will it will start up no, no, at, no. At, at the at the east of, of Egypt down to the Arabian uh, coasts. That okay, okay, fine. That means Hejaz is included. 
Yeah, I mean, I, I, uh, hijab, hijab is a point. very general general term. You're talking okay, about Mecca, this, this, this which is said. so far away. Okay, which means which, which means logically you can't rule out Mecca. Do you agree? You could consider it as part of possibly as, as part. Yeah, that's sure. what I'm saying. So thank you, thank you for being honest about that at least. All I'm saying mm -hmm. is you can't you can't exclude it. Now you agree? Okay, sure. Yeah, fine. yeah, fine. Good. So far, so now we agree, and then the Kedarites grew up there. Kedar is the second son of Ishmael, based in Genesis 25. All right, mm -hmm. they grew up mm -hmm. there. Okay. okay. Now we know historically, even from Isaiah 60, that it talks about a place where people, the Kedarites, bring all their flocks to the house of God to do sacrifice. Okay. Now today, okay. that the only sanctuary that uh, celebrates the idea of the firstborn, firstborn of uh, Ibrahim being saved by God, right, via another sacrifice, an animal on earth, is through Muslims. Where? Okay. In Mecca. Christians don't celebrate it. The only people that celebrate it, keep that tradition, are Muslims. Show me a place where the Jews and Christians celebrate this idea of the firstborn being saved. You will not find it. But we do have a place called Mecca. Fits the criteria, has pilgrimage, it is south, and uh, what do you call it? And also, uh, uh, you should mention the well. So far, all the criteria are there. So, so well, denying, well, well, denying, are, it, will be denying of... it, denying it will be literally going out of your way. No, no. Want to hear it. There are a lot of a lot of wells throughout Arabia and a lot of wells throughout, throughout the Middle East. Name one. It's name a, one. Name one well by the house of I, God I, in Hejaz. I don't. I don't have a name for a well. We, so we why, know that there so are why, a lot. Of so why would you make a claim? Why do you keep saying there's different places and different wells, and you've got no so evidence, nothing. no name? Because because why I'm I, because I'm saying I, I, I'll, I'll, that, I'll, I'll be honest with you. Because I'm saying there is a well. There is a well down there. Is not proof that this corresponds to that. There are wells everywhere. Can I be honest with you? Can I be honest with you? Sure. Go ahead. This is not a. This is not some ad hominem or anything. But honestly, I thought this is the first time I speak to you. I thought you'd be more sophisticated. I am. I am. I think you're just uh, I, I, I thought cop, you'd, copying you'd, out. You'd, you'd, no, no, you, no, 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 just because you respond, just because you respond to something, just because you make a refutation, a response, that doesn't mean you have destroyed and the person in front of you is illogical and, and this and that. I mean, the vast majority of biblical scholars will never agree with the idea that Becca is Mecca. They will never agree with the idea that the Quran is down there. They will never agree with the idea Every that, scholar that Islam agree Quran is there. They, they, will, they, will, they, will never, they will never agree with the idea. Well, that how about this? How about this? On, on this platform, I'll quote quotations about scholars. You bring okay. quotations. Okay. Scholars. You want to do that? No, no, no. Uh, the, exactly. vast majority, the vast majority of biblical scholars will never. Um, is this a lie? The vast majority of biblical scholars will never, ever agree that Mecca is Mecca. You keep making, you keep, you keep making claims. You keep making claims about this, Quran. Is, this is very obvious. So, no, it's not, very I keep obvious. saying these things. Okay, obvious. sure, sure. Here. Many places, many wells. It's so wishy-washy. Can you be kind of definitive? Are you guys are you guys trying to say that it is absurd to claim that the vast majority of biblical scholars do not agree that Becca is Mecca? So can, hey, can hey, you answer hey, that hey, question? Hey, look, can you answer that question? I'm gonna answer you right now. Look, look, I've, can, I've, can I've you studied, answer that question, please. I'm please. trying to. I've studied the subject matter. Now, with all respect, you clearly haven't. You've probably heard some things. Can you please on. respond to the question that I just, just asked? Just be, be patient. Be patient. You're not answering the question. I've, 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 I've already, please answer I've, I've the question already, that I've asked. I'm, I'm trying. Give me a chance. Relax. It's okay. We're having a conversation. Sure. Look, I've studied subject matter, and I can tell you right now, and I'm making this claim, this statement right now, that unanimously all scholars agree about one thing. They don't know what Becca is. They don't know. No one has ever made a claim that we know exactly where Becca is. Okay, was it my question? I, I, I can give you a quote. Listen to me. I can give you a quotation right now of thirty. Was that my question? Because that's not that's not what I asserted. My what uh, what you objected to? Because what I brought up was that the vast majority of scholars will never agree that Becca is in Mecca. That is not the conclusion that they come to. Is that false? Is that an absurd claim to make? Do so, you agree that is the, that the opposite is true? So so okay. So there, actually, there are rabbis that agree. Uh, first of all, I don't know if you know this. The Samaritan. That, that was not my question. My question was: Is it absurd to claim no, no, that the vast no, no, majority no. of biblical no, no. scholars will? No, 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 no. That, that's a fallacious argument. Already. That's what that's what the argument was. No, no, it's, it's fallacious because you're, you're saying the opposite of what I'm saying in another way. Look, I'm telling you right now that they don't because no. two things. Listen to me, why? Listen to me, why? First of all, they're biblical scholars. These people are Christians and Jews, so it is. Uh, listen to me. There's always a component of bias that they're not gonna say, "Well, yeah, that is the place," because next thing you know is shahada. Okay, that's number one. You have to admit this fact. That's number one. You have to admit. This is common sense. That's number one. Number two, there are rabbis whom you can consider scholar, not scholars, and academics who say actually, yes, Ismail is definitely the son of Abraham, and they built a place called in Mecca. Otherwise, where did it come from? Why okay. would why, why would Muslims invent this? Okay, what? what, what, what and, how, and I'm how telling about, you. How about I'm this not, proposition? Not, you now are to also answer biased. Question. I'm about to answer your question. Okay, sure, about, go ahead. And, and now, what I told you is when it comes to the name Becca, many people 
have falsely tried to like deviate from the meaning of it. And instead of haba kakipir a noun, they changed it to like a verb, weeping or something like that, just to like run away from it, to, to not admit that it's actually Mecca or Becca, right? Now, most scholars, not most scholars, I haven't heard of any scholar, and I've studied this. I can tell you about 30 quotations right now. They agree they don't know where it is. They do not know. That's what their statement is. We don't know. We think there, we think here, but there's no definite agreement. There is no definite agreement. So you can't bring an argument saying like somehow you have some positive claim like, no, this scholar said this. It's in Jordan. What is it? It's in Switzerland. We don't know. That's okay, the here are two issues. I it said is that the vast majority of uh, biblical scholars would never agree that Becca mentioned in the Bible refers to Mecca. There's just too much evidence against because it. Because they don't know. What you not, are doing, you're not getting it. Okay, okay, okay. Don't okay. Know. I, 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 what you are doing is, I mean, you are very haughty with your with your attitude. But what you are doing is to say they are biased, which is why they will not agree. But then you go ahead with your Islamic bias and argue that the Valley of Becca definitely re re definitely refers to Mecca. But he give okay. you he, he, he give you his reasons <laughs> as to why. He didn't give me reasons. Well, I mean, there, well, there, there is I a spring used. and there is a place look, 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 of worship. Look, look, look what I did. Look, I Listen to what I did. I haven't used any, I haven't used the Quran. I haven't okay. used the Sunnah. I haven't used some Islamic history. I'm telling you through the Bible what we can observe today, right? There is a sanctuary, a place called the House of God or Beit El in Hebrew, right? Where people go in congregation, do pilgrimage. And okay. the Bible says that this place will be open forever. It talks about the new Zion. It will be open forever. Now we know historically speaking that Mecca, since the conquest, it has been open as the house of God for where, where does it, say that? Uh, it says that in Isaiah 42, it says that in Isaiah 60, and it says that in Psalm 84. There are multiple places where it says that people go there in congregation. The only place on earth, on earth, that talks about and celebrates the saving of the first son of Abraham, which we believe is Ismail, even the Jews and Christians believe he's Ismail, the first son. Uh, of course, they believe that this, the one sacrifice is, is Isaac. That's a whole different subject. We're not going to talk about it right now. But the idea of uh, Abraham's son being saved. Place that celebrates it, where people go in pilgrimage, where people bring animal sacrifice for the house of God, is the only place on earth, and it's called Becca, in the desert. Only place on earth is Mecca today. There's no other place. Show me place where a place called Becca has a sanctuary related to saving of Abraham's first son, where people go in pilgrimage. Please. It, uh, it it doesn't it doesn't say in Isaiah that uh, that this specific place where these specific people live will be a sanctuary. I just asked you a question for, forever for all time. I don't know if you heard my question or not, but show, but, show me. Please. No, you, if, if you misrepresent the entire the entire premise, then the question doesn't does, doesn't really make sense. I'm the not. Bible the Bible doesn't say that that uh, that uh, the the place where these specific people live will have a sanctuary that will last forever, where you, where you will be safe. Where does it say that? Give, give me the give me the quotation. What does it say that? It, it, it even says in Isaiah forty two that uh, that that the Lord will come forth and He will fight them. And it, it even Rizwan, the, the Bible even makes a reference yeah. to fighting the the Rizwan, Rizwan, and the Rizwan, Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah You're that's talking what... the Bible like a Christian. Uh, do you believe the Bible is reliable source of information? I, no, <laughs> no. That makes no. The question makes no sense because my so, argument. Because here's my the argument, thing you see. Because here's the thing you see. You don't believe the Bible's a reliable source of information. We don't believe the Bible's a reliable source of information. Then so why, why do you, do you think that's the standard that's... of truth? Then why do you bend it and give it as no, proof? No, why are you, own, you, own you, beliefs? you're bringing it. I don't, I don't, no, I don't. I don't, I'll make it easy for you. I don't care. Okay, I'll make it easy for you. I'll make it easy for you, yeah? I don't care whether the Bible mentions Becker or not. I don't okay. care. Okay, sure. But then but then what you are saying is that there is no solid proof. No, what I'm that saying Kaaba, is absence of evidence of evidence, has, of evidence of absence. That's that what I'm Kaaba, saying to you. No, what you're saying is that there is no solid proof that the Kaaba is to Let him out. Let him out. I know you want to say it. Go ahead. What? Are you talking to me now? Yeah. Okay. No, I just, the, the whole, for me, the whole entire argument is already based on a faulty premise. I mean, the thing is, I don't even see why we're entertaining it. As I said, it was a fallacious argument, and the and the thing that I want to bring up as well is like, you know, there are a lot of things in the in the Old Testament that aren't mentioned in the New Testament. Explicit doctrines of Christianity. Are you willing to make the same argument for your Christian fans that Christianity is false as a result? What of does that? it have to do with the topic? That has everything to do with the topic because you're saying the absence of something being mentioned in the tradition equates to its falsehood. I, I I'm not saying that. What yes, I'm you saying did. is that you said if, you are, if you're good, making you said the Kaaba was not mentioned in, in the way. tradition, therefore it makes Islam false. In a way, correct. That's what you in, said. That is in, that's what in, you said. 
it points at it. I wouldn't. I wouldn't say no, that. No, it's, no, no, it's no, no. There's no point at it. It's either false or it's not false. You don't have the. Uh, Asadullah, Asadullah, if I if I make such a major major claim, such a major claim, and there is claim? no evidence which backs up my claim. There like, is there evidence. Was, there was a lot of evidence. Were, 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 were you listening to me? I mean, I mean, we have we have heard your evidence about back. Were, 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 were you listening to me? It's, it's, it's laughable. Look, look, look. I'll tell you what's laughable. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you what's laughable. Listen, listen. Okay, okay. No, one second. One second. One second. Have a very hostile attitude. Can I respond to Asadullah, please? One second, please. I know, I know you will go at hominem. I don't care. I can no, I respond I'm not, to I'm not interested in going at hominem. I'm not interested. What laugh? <sighs> it's okay. Just relax. It's okay. I okay. say what's laughable. You come onto this platform with zero evidence about a place that meets the criteria of Mecca is, and you want to ask them how to entertain. I don't it. need That's such laughable. evidence. It's ridiculous. The entire <laughs> point of bringing up of bringing up the Bible name a place, fake Bible verses as evidence for this is ridiculous. I'm gonna what buy a shirt. I'm, I'm gonna buy a shirt that says name a place. That's what I'm going to do. <laughs> what, what, we have, what we have, what we have as a is your religion, your religious book comes out and makes a major claim and what builds its entire foundation. Okay, what is the claim in particular that you want to? I want to hear exactly what you meant. What you mean? What claim specifically? The claim is that this is the first house built for Allah, and Allah specifically gave humanity through Abraham and 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 Ishmael the the mission or the you know the the responsibility to go out into the world so that people come to this place mm -hmm. in worship every year now of course we know where this comes from because uh, in Muhammad's time in his surrounding the people were surrounding the Kaaba and that was very significant to him mm -hmm. unfortunately in the history of humankind and anthropology the Mecca has no What's Mecca has no significance the Kaaba has no significance What's I'm playing? getting to it I'm getting to it I'm getting to it what we see is that it has uh, Mecca has no significance, the Kaaba has no significance, uh, and all of this has no relation at all to Jewish and Christian history. Yeah. That so why would it have any relation to Jewish Judaism, Jewish history? Because which is not because the Kaaba as relevant to their own religious practice. Because it should be relevant according to the, to the Quran's claim. What? Because this is the the major place of worship, the major house established for Allah, which Allah okay. is, uh, had established the first major house in the mother of cities, so that humans uh -huh. from all around the world would come and gather around it. Why has this no relation, no knowledge, no familiarity to Christianity and Judaism? Why is it completely absent from that? To give different Sharia to different groups. Is it different people? Like, Was Ishmael Jewish? Was Ishmael Jewish? That's an absurd question. That uh, Jewish is a straight question. <laughs> no, was he Jewish? J Jewish is not something that that existed uh, in, in, uh, for for Ishmael. That's an absurd question. It doesn't make sense. Right. So he wasn't Jewish, was he? Then, and Abraham obviously wasn't Jewish. Okay, but the Quran's claim is that Abraham, Abraham, and Ishmael were given this. But well, they weren't the Jewish, were they? they okay. Were, right. And the Quran, and, the, and the Quran Jewish accepts, Jewish. and the Quran accepts the vast yeah. history of or tries to accept the history of Jewish biblical tradition. So no, the point is, the these way people around, are supposed it? to be the same people who are guided no, but the by problem Allah. You've got, the problem you've got is this. The Quran's the word of Allah. The Bible's the word of Jews. Okay. Okay, Hamza, but you have this. You have many prophets, figures that are mentioned in the Quran who are seen as rightly guided, sent people by Allah in order to convey Allah's right. message Did you just hear what humanity. I said? Okay. Can, can you please let me speak? Who convey Allah's message to humanity? It references right. them. And these people were with the Jews the entire time. Right. And they came after Abraham. And yet the Jews, despite this history and despite Allah's wish that all humanity comes to Mecca, to the Kaaba, Jews have no idea and Jews have had no history with the Kaaba. That oh, is okay. Or, or Does all humanity go to the Kaaba? But, no, but that's not the point. Supposed to. I mean, that's not part of their well, they do, don't they? they? Are they're supposed, supposed to. to they don't. They they have right. only after 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 the emergence of Islam. Yeah. So, what's the problem with that? <laughs> well, the problem is the problem is it's not it's not reconcilable. I mean, it's very How? obvious. You just said you just said it's supposed to be for it all people. Need to be. I don't understand. The Quran that. gives Abraham and Ishmael the mission to spread this to the entire world so that everyone comes. This is the major well, well, uh, place. Well, this is the do that? Mo mother well, of no. cities. Well, mother where, of where cities. did you do that? And yet it has no history well, within Christianity. Where does Allah say about? Abraham and uh, Ishmael were sent to the whole world. Where are you getting that from? Yeah, I, didn't, I didn't. I didn't say they were sent to the whole world. I said that uh, they should spread the word that people no, all around the should. world come to him. You, you you said, it's exactly what you just said. Yeah. Did I, did I say they were sent to the world? Okay, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. That. You that's did not, say that's that. Yeah. That's, that's not what I meant. That. The issue oh, what was. What did you mean then? That. Uh, it was the first house built on earth for Allah by Abraham and Ishmael, and they were 
told to tell the people from around the world to come to the you castle. Said again. You just did it again. Is, is, isn't that tell what the, the Quran people says? from around the world? So, sorry. How is Ishmael and I? No, one second. If I need to make it correct, I'm going to tell the people around the world. The issue of semantics, because if it is the first house built to mankind, you have to understand the Jews did not believe their religion was for mankind. The Jews' religion was yes. for them, themselves, just themselves alone, their, their ethnicity. Their, their pilgrimage site was Jerusalem. They didn't. They, I mean, they, there was. There's no need to reconcile this, right? I mean, that's. that's you know, I, I made a point earlier. I don't know whether it went it went through or not. What I was saying to you earlier is that the claim that's made by the Jews and Christians is that this temple, this Beit El, is the temple of Jerusalem. Right, temple of Jerusalem. Who built the temple of Jerusalem? That's the temple of Solomon. Now it can't be it. It can't possibly be because the Psalm is written by David. David is the father of Solomon, which means the temple of Solomon wasn't built yet. Therefore, there was no sanctuary at the time. You get it? The only sanctuary that was, it must have been built before. Now, we know Ismail Abraham built it. And another thing, the temple of Solomon, right, even though it wouldn't exist at the time because he wasn't even born yet, it would have been in Jerusalem, obviously. Now, David, if you read this, the psalm, it talks about how his heart and his body yearn this place. He misses it so much that he wants to go back, which means... Dawood has been there before. Now he's writing a psalm about a place that he missed. Now, had it been in Jerusalem, as the Christian Jews say, then he would have just gone to it. This is clearly a place that is far from Jerusalem. You have to read the context. He misses this place. Now, we also have evidence from uh, 1 Samuel chapter 21. It says that David ran away from Saul. He was trying to kill him to a place that is far. And he went in congregation to a place in Paran. So we already have evidence that David stepped out of the area of Jerusalem. Palestine and went deep somewhere else far now it made sense that he would have visited that place he took it as a place of refuge and then came back and when he became king again he wrote a psalm about how he missed that place so it can't possibly be the one in Jerusalem you get that part he's talking about a place that is not in Jerusalem because he misses what, it what, he what you're implying it. is that, is that it's, it's a place that is merely of some significance that he visited but uh, and yet it has as it and, seems, and he prayed no, there. No universal significance to the, to the Jewish religion at all, as it seems. It does. As because they completely disconnected themselves it from it. Huh. Yeah. Okay, look, look, here's what you need to understand. Just I mean, because. Okay, just because, what, we, just because, what we have is that. What we have is I'm that. Trying to answer you. Uh, it is, it is to mentioned. You. Okay, please. I'm trying uh, to answer you. I'm trying I, know, to I, I just listened to you. Let me, look, let me, bring, look, let me raise the Let me add to the point. Uh, Go ahead. What you're saying is that what you're saying is that the Kaaba is mentioned, or this place is apparently mentioned at some part, in some part, in uh, this book as a place that is uh, of significance, that was visited, that is a sanctuary, and so on. And yet it has uh, apparently, as it seems, no major significance to the core of these religious beliefs. So well, apparently it did okay. matter. I got you. Apparently, you. apparently you. it did matter to them. Contrary to what we have said earlier, it apparently it did matter and it was relevant and important to them, but it also had no universal central relevance, as it seems, because it's only a place that is now far away that he misses. How okay. does that make sense? So here's the deal: just because something, just because something uh, mentioned in the Bible, it doesn't mean that's what everybody agree upon. Let me give you an example: Christians and Jews, they read the same Bible, right? And even in Christianity itself. You have Trinitarians, Unitarians. They read the same Bible, but they understand it differently. Do you agree with this part or no so far? Sure, yeah. Good. Now, we agree that you can read the same passage, but you have different understanding, despite being even the same religion. Despite believing that Jesus died for your sins, Unitarians see he's not God. Trinitarians see that he's God. Now, same thing happened. Imagine now we're talking about things that are more ambiguous. Names of places that can be mentioned here and there and that are even older, way older, time of David, not even time of Jesus, time of David. So it makes it more ambiguous to have different opinions about things. So it is natural to have people have different understanding about what Becca is. So th th this does not refute our point. Now, the second point here is that, again, I have to bring up this bias perspective because it is true. We, can, we can't hide from it. This is true. Um, and I admit, everyone has some sort of bias in them. But it is true. They're not going to go and admit to you Oh yeah, well, it is Mecca, it is Mecca. Oh, and Prophet Muhammad, keep, yep, yep. He's just take shahada and start lining up. Of course, we're not expecting all of them to do that. But however, historically speaking, we do have rabbis, we do have scholars who actually read these passages and immediately believed in the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and wrote books. Now it's up to you whether you wanted to grab that book and read it for yourself and I give you references or not. But just because you're making that claim, just because Jew or Christian today doesn't agree with it, it doesn't mean it's not there because they themselves disagree upon things. Allah said that in the Quran, they read the same book, 
and they, and they both disagree upon it. Okay. Do you, do you agree that it's also possible that you yourself have a bias toward Islam, which is why you conclude that Becca is Mecca? Of course there's a bias in Islam, but I, but I don't base my whole argument about, against bias. I'm not going to be honest with you. Of course, okay. because Allah says in the Quran that the Prophet Muhammad is there. So, of course, there's some sort of bias because I'm already, already Can I ask a simple there. question? Can I ask a simple question? Sure. Could the Bible be wrong? Yeah, sure. Well, there you go. Okay. Oh, well, here's my answer. <laughs> why is it? Why is it an ooh moment? Of course, yeah. <laughs> well, if the Bible's wrong, then it doesn't matter what it says, does it? It could be, yeah, yeah but that's not my point. I mean, my, my well, point. Well, no, is but it's the point because I mean, that's just standard of evidence. I mean, why is it not I, I, in the Bible? Why is it not in the Bible? Well, the Bible's wrong, mate. Now what? What is, what is with your attitude, Tamsa? I don't get it. <laughs> well, I think if, I, I, I knew you were going to come up with nonsense, uh, Hilly, and you uh, confirmed what I thought, Hilly, and you've been wrong with not evidence. Only. Your responses are so wishy-washy, and now you've you now you've just accepted that the evidence you brought to challenge the Islam you don't even believe it could is that, that's, accurate that's not, that's or not the, that's not the evidence that I brought. That's the evidence that yes, you it have proposed. Yes, it is. Where I does argue. it say in the Bible? Where does no, it say no, in the Bible? No, it's no, your evidence, that's, that's, mate. That's, that's it's your standard. It that's not what. Yes, it is. It is. Okay. Okay. For, for hey, somebody who has table, a place called the, the arena where people are supposed to uh, tackle your ideas, you have you no, have no, no, a very, no. very you hostile on, attitude. You come on with an evidence you don't even believe in. Was I the one? Was I the one? Those things as an evidence. You're the one who brought the Bible out. Where in the Bible no, does it no, say no, that? No, was I the one who brought that evidence? I was. So, I, let me, I, let me I said, you. Let me ask I you said that, that Christianity and, and Judaism have no connection, no historicity to this at all. Anthropology has no historicity to Mecca or the Kaaba at all. That's not true. That's Ali, not true. Ali, what you're saying is, what you're saying is that people might have a difference of opinion of or of understanding of a certain thing that they read. Do you agree with that? Do you agree with that? Do you agree? Oh, yes, of course I agree. Okay, with so that. one second, one second. That's very normal. But what we have is not a difference of understanding. One second, one second. I'm going to talk. I I listen to you. No, no. I tell you why. Because look, sure. we're trying to have a discussion. Right. Because if you go on for too long, I'm going to miss things. If I go for too long, so feel free to interrupt me. I don't mind. By the way, I don't mind. I as take that as have, the entire time. But you go as ahead. long as we have civil conversation. Look, sure. you agree so far that you have a group of people reading the same book and might understand it differently. You already, you already said yes. So this, yes. this yeah. argument itself refutes everything you're saying because no, it's not. That was never my argument. Because, I because, look, why. Let me tell you why. Because there are Samaritan Jews, for example. Have you heard of Samaritan Jews? Yes, I have. Okay, they have the Samaritan Torah. It's actually, uh, which is older than the Masoretic text and all. Right? They actually believe that the Prophet Muhammad is the prophet. The only difference, I don't know if you knew this, the, the difference is that they believe he's the prophet only for the Arabs. They're like, that's fine. He's a prophet, absolutely. It's just, we have our own Torah, we have to do it. And then they live throughout Islamic history, fine. They have their own laws, they have their own courts, no problem at all. So now, and they believe that Mecca is, is a sanctuary place. Go you know, we also we also have the Ahmadis what, what, who believe that Buddha what, what, is a prophet, but no, no, no. we disregard them as, as heretics or kafar. So. <laughs> uh, 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 that's a relevant. That's a deflection. That's no, a deflection. That's the, exactly. point, the point is that he's making oh, that a, here. Oh, that a relevant the point, point he's making here, which you so <laughs> stupidly missed, is the fact that the same people Every, who are reading all the biblical texts, and, and then it's always me who is the offensive one. Please. Yes. Yes. So basically, he's just exposed to you that people reading all the biblical texts are happy to concede the Prophet Muhammad's uh, a prophet. Why? Why is that? People, well, you're talking about specific people. You, we're, Jews, not, Jews. We're, people we're talking about everybody who reads this. People who read people. this Bible that you've come with evidence which you don't really believe is true. Um, people who do believe it is true have concluded that the Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings upon him, was a prophet. Okay, I'm, I'm sure I'm showing. No, you, you saying Ahmadiyan, Mursa, Gulma, Gulam, whatever <laughs> is irrelevant. Hamza, 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 do, you, do you not believe that? Do you not think that my comparison to no, Ahmadis or, or others is, is is a point to no, show no, how no, to show how no. absurd that claim? No, no. pathetic. No. <laughs> okay, hold on. Ahmadis mate. believe that the Buddha uh, was a prophet. It's first. a complete no, deflection. Deflection. I'll tell you no, why. I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. It's a complete deflection. It's a complete deflection. It's just because some people. I'll tell you why it's a complete deflection. Okay, I'll tell you why it's a complete deflection. All right, I'll tell you why it's a complete deflection. Because you you've brought this Bible to the table as if it supports you, even though you don't even accept it. Yes, you did. Don't shake your head. This is what you brought. Okay, where in the Bible does it say this? Where in the Bible does it say that? All right. Now, what my brother Khalil just did, he, he's shown you that there are people who were reading the Bible, older texts than what the Maserati text is, and they've concluded that Prophet Muhammad was a prophet of God based upon what they read in their Bible, but he's just a prophet to the Arabs. 
Now, you banging on about uh, Ahmadiyya is a complete deflection as how, rather than addressing that point. So just it's address actually, that point. It's actually a very logical comparison to show how absurd that right. is. But I'll be honest with you, my brother. Let me I've see. decided you, have no, you don't have Hamza. logic, mate. You don't understand logic. You believe absence of evidence is evidence of absence. Never said that. Hamza, Hamza, let me, let me, let me correct you. Let me how, is it, how is it absurd? How was, how was my claim absurd? How? Did you want me to, hold on. Did you want me to tell you that unanimously every single human being? Can I, can I please speak? You are, you are you are going to speak. I have no. I have been listening here to your ramblings and to his insults for quite a while now. Can Rambling. I speak? Okay, no problem. Go ahead. Can I please speak? No problem. I have. I didn't. I. It was never my intention to come here and say, "Look at the Bible. The Bible says this. How can you refute this?" That's not what I did. What I said at the very beginning is that Islam makes a claim about the Kaaba at its core foundation, and the Kaaba is entirely disconnected from Abrahamic uh, tradition and history, and from human. How do you know that? From historicity in general. Well. We have How do you know about, that? We have talked about the evidence. I did no, not. No, the evidence say, is the Bible, mate. So that like I didn't come with the Bible. You brought zero evidence. Zero, zero, zilch. Apart from the Bible. You brought yeah, zero I, mean, evidence. I mean, you can't really present evidence for something that doesn't exist. There is no connection uh -huh. between Abrahamic religion and. No, no, I'm asking you, where, I'm asking you where is the sanctuary? Listen to me. Here's the problem. Here's the problem with you, bro. You're making a claim, but, but you don't have anything to stand on. It's like you're just in the air, flying, like floating. Like you're not really standing on anything. I'm asking you, where is the place on earth, a sanctuary? That commemorates and celebrates the saving of the firstborn of Abraham, right? That happens to be called Beit of El, Beit El in Hebrew, uh, uh, Beitullah in Arabic, right? Uh, that happened to be in the south, in Zion. By the way, Zion doesn't mean always Zion, it means also desert, by the way, the wilderness in Hebrew. There's Zion and there is Zion. In, in the context, it's very clear what it means. Exactly. That's why you find in ancient translation in Isaiah, in many places, they don't translate Zion as Zion, they translate it as the wilderness. Okay. Or, okay. So this is something uh, you gotta check out. The word Zion has two meanings, by the way. Right in Zion, sanctuary where people go in congregation and do pilgrimage, and house of God, and it's outside of Jerusalem, not in Jerusalem. That someone has to actually go far, run away from the king Saul to get to it. Now we're telling you that this place actually exists on Earth, and a prophet of God happened to come out of there, right, and made that claim. Now, unless you believe he's a time traveler. He went back to the book of Isaiah or, 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 or it and inserted it. You know, wrote about Mecca, wrote about the Kaaba, Pesquot Bakka. If you believe that, we can discuss time travel. No problem. But so far, we do have a place. You don't have a place. You literally just throw in stuff in the air without providing any evidence. No, but it's, it's probably it's probably because I don't uh, necessarily um, mem memorize or remember the specific places where, for example, temples were built. How many temples did did Abraham build according to the Bible? Look, name a place. The bloody Bible. Leave the Bible alone. You don't believe Hamza, in it. Hamza, that's your evidence. So I'm, we don't I'm, believe in it. I'm responding we don't believe to you. In the Bible. You don't believe in the Bible. So the Bible is not a standard of evidence in you this just, room. You just talked about logic. I am responding to his evidence. Can you? Yes, please, no, no, but you just brought the Bible against the table, which you don't believe yeah, because, in. Yeah, because he presented the Bible, and I am attacking his evidence right now. Can you please allow that? Khalil, how many uh, temples did, did heard, Abraham build according to the Bible? No, no, let's just... Uh, Can you answer please. my question? How many no, temples no, did, you. did Abraham I'll build according to the Bible? No, no, I'm not going to slide with that. It's not working. Sorry. Not today. Watch this. It, it, I, completely, I, it is completely no. related to the topic. How many no. temples did Abraham build according to the Bible? No, no, no. I asked you the question. <laughs> Name a place. I don't. I don't know. Uh, but, but, well, I don't know. Okay, I don't know. Thank he, you. Here's, here's my counter question. No, no. Here's my counter question. How no, no, many no. temples? What do you, mean you don't know. Then why are you making the claim if you don't know? Because you are clearly seeing that this is not uh, in your favor. How but I'm, many giving you, I'm giving you. I'm giving you the place. Listen, how listen many? How many temples did Abraham listen to yourself. To I, I don't... Twenty million. Who cares? I'm giving you a place that matches the criteria. What are you False. talking about? False. That's False. No, False. Listen, listen. You, you missed the point. Another place that matches the criteria. Name I don't, you name, I don't, can you name I don't another think, place? I don't think no. So what is okay, your argument I don't, about? I don't think can you name another place? I don't think that make a place. Uh, what is your argument about? I, I don't know where it is. I can don't can you name another place? place? <laughs> I don't know where it is. Oh, I sorry. don't know the place. So, so, I don't so what think. What a coincidence. That fine, that's fine. Place. So what a coincidence please, is this? Please, what please, what please a coincidence. A prophet came out of a place, Mecca, right? Who happens to be called Becca, even in Akbar Mecca, in our our historical books that we have through our tradition. A place in Mecca, used to be called Becca. We know that for sure, right? And a prophet happened to come out of there. Surprise, surprise. Happened to have a house of God, right? Well, historically... It's saying that the Prophet Muhammad went and destroyed the idols there and we turned it back to what it was, monotheism. Happened to be there. Yeah, surprise, a prophet of God, David, writes about a place where he went to when he ran away and he went back to his place, Jerusalem, and misses this place. Remember, Temple of Solomon was not even existing yet. The only sexual place that was existing is in Mecca, which David talks about in Becca. 
I, I'm giving you all this. And you come in here telling what, me what you're, uh, what you're referencing is your what you're referencing is your big proof is a mention of a place called Valley of Baka, which they pass through on their glorious uh, walking through uh, to, not, to the house. Not, of not walking, not walking, <laughs> not walking. <laughs> no, 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 that's not funny. They, they, they pass through it. You're laughing that's at yourself. It, that's what you're, it says. You're literally, literally, you're literally laughing at yourself. No, I'm no. laughing at your stupid logic. The Psalms literally says they okay, walk, now that's walk stupid through logic. it towards Zion. <laughs> Because it, because that's it says, what it says. Image. They walk through the valley of Baca. They walk so through the look, look, look. Here, here's that's your problem. Says. Name a place of pilgrimage called the house of God, okay. right? Outside okay. of Jerusalem. 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 No. So it doesn't match the criteria. Because no, the, was, the, the valley of Baca is listen, not outside of Jerusalem. It says the, listen, they pass listen, through the valley of Baca while they listen, go to Jerusalem. Do they pass listen, through Mecca listen, to go listen, to Jerusalem? Listen to this. Listen to this. David is a king. That's his kingdom. He's right in the psalm. See, the, the, problem is, the, problem is, the problem is, look, you don't speak Hebrew. And where was his kingdom? Listen to me, listen to me. With all respect, I'm not, this is not an attack, honestly. It's okay. You don't speak okay. Hebrew. That's fine. Can, can, okay, can, listen, you, add, can listen, you add to that? Where was his listen, kingdom? Listen, listen. Just add the detail. Listen, where was his kingdom? To, you're not going to learn ever. That's the matter. problem. You're, you're not, you don't listen. I'm, I'm asking you to add you, to your You'll place. never learn. Okay, you're go, never going to learn. Right, explain. You don't want to learn. No, go ahead, explain. I I want to learn. I just didn't make false. Then listen, listen, listen. It's okay. It's okay to, it's okay to, not know something, it's fine. You can learn it, that's fine. That's sorry. Right. You clearly don't know the subject matter. I mean, you're not, I don't think I don't think you are very genuine in your approach, but go ahead, sure. Well, you haven't given it uh, okay. Well, let, let oh, me I think, I think you are I think you're very dishonest. Sure, go ahead. Okay, oh, what am I dishonest about? I think you're very dishonest in your approach. You're very biased. Okay. See, see how red you get when what, 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 I just what, what am I dishonest about? What am I dishonest about? I think you are very dishonest about your Islamic uh, beliefs and, pre and premises in general. I don't think you, I don't in think you have, you have I don't think you have any reason to believe that the Valley of Baqarah refers to Mecca, which is absurd. Mecca has no historicity at all. How point, am I dishonest? How am I dishonest? Did I provide? Point, did I provide any? Did I provide any historical no? source? Yeah, I, I think you refuse to see the evidence. That's what I think. What, okay, what is your evidence? What evidence? The evidence is that the evidence is that the is that Mecca has absolutely no records in history and no okay, significance at all. That's a lack of evidence. That's not an evidence. No, that, that is evidence. Oh my God. There is no evidence no. to it as a significant This is, this place. is bad, man. I really thought you were I thought you'd be more evidence. sophisticated. I already thought you'd be more sophisticated philosophically. At least no, know some, some of, rules of. Of course. Some, I am. Listen, listen. <laughs> I think I think I'm the only person who is honest about this. I, I really no, thought. No, I, really no, thought no, I really thought. No, I really thought you'd have you have some you know some rules about mantik a logic. I, I do. I do. You're all I'm, over the place. I think I've completely. You don't even know the difference between Islam positive and negative claim. Halid, can you explain to me where in, exactly no, in anthropology no, is? Mecca? Why are you asking me questions when I ask you to give me give you criteria of a place and you can't name it, and you still stand there telling me I already asked. I already. That question the first time. I don't think I don't know what that place is. It's a random so, place. So, 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 stop! 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 What's, hey. the, what's, the, what's the bottom time? You don't know the place. I don't know the place. Uh, and I told you already. I can quote for you right now. Thirty scholars, biblical scholars, who say we don't know where Becca is. Okay, but sure. Are, I don't but, know where it is. Wait, wait. But there are some rabbis actually said yes. The only one that makes sense is Mecca today because it has a sanctuary. They do celebrate the birth of uh, Abraham's son when he was saved, and they do bring sacrifice to Beit of El. Some okay. rabbis actually agree with this. Okay. But, and the rest of them, including Christians, they say we don't know. Okay. So now, the vast majority of rabbis also also agree that the that the that the that Quran that the Quran's account is false. What do no, you wait, wait, that? that's a different argument again. I'm talking, about, I'm, talking about, I'm talking about particular particular point. That's a, that's, that's a deflection again. See, you deflecting again. No, but what I'm trying to say, what I'm trying to say, what what I'm trying to say is appealing appealing to I certain people does not prove your point. That's look, look, I provide I provide plenty of evidence. Just just look. You don't even have to keep being atheist. I don't even know whether you're Christian or atheist, but that's fine. It doesn't matter. Just looking at this from an objective perspective, neutral, right? Yeah. If you take the data, collect the data, like if you're in an academic setting, university, take the data, you have a geographic location, you have a house that existed there, you have a place for pilgrimage that still exists today, and you do exactly what's mentioned there, outside of Jerusalem, because David's writing the psalm about a place that he missed, so it cannot be Jerusalem. And you can eliminate immediately the Temple of Jerusalem, which was built by Solomon, and this is David speaking, who was the father of Solomon. He wasn't even born yet. So he didn't have a sanctuary there in Jerusalem. He didn't. They didn't exist. The only one that existed is in Mecca. So I'm providing you with this evidence, but yet you're not even willing to say. So let me rephrase well, well, your argument. I'm not done yet. I'm, I'm landing. One second. Sure, go ahead. Now, here's, here's how I know you're not genuine. If you were genuine, you would have said, you know what? You presented something. I might not agree with you 100%, but you did bring, bring up criteria. It is my duty as an honest individual, an academic, to take the criteria, study the subject matter. We could have another talk about this. But you didn't do that. You immediately went in defensive mode. And when I asked you for evidence, you said, I don't know. This because, you insult, because, because you're insulting and condescending. I will tell you what, what, what how I think. I, how am I insulting? How? 
the, how many times have you said uh, you are you are you are ignorant? I don't think you are honest. Said, I, don't, I, don't, I, I thought you were I've more uh, sophisticated. I thought you were this and that. How, that's, not how, that's not part of the discussion. That's, that's not, not part of the discussion. Stop. That, that's an ad hominem uh, appro approach. Just it's not ad hominem it, approach. It has no. Well, it has no up. relevance. It has no relevance to the, to the topic at all. Let's talk about the subject matter. You did that in the entire yeah. time. People no, can no, see no, it. No, I'm, I'm trying to not do it. I'm a human as well. Okay. Let me respond. Let me respond to the point. With one, all you need to respond to okay, is name a place. I have name already responded place. to that, Hunter. Name a place. Understand. I have already responded to, respond to. First thing. First thing. Try to explain to why do rabbis say this is Mecca? Why do the vast majority of uh, no, why do rabbis say it? Why do rabbis how, how, say it? How many rabbis say it? Why do oh, rabbis? There's a, there's a good reason it? why. What's the percentage of rabbis uh, among well, rabbis? Why do who say rabbi, it? If, if even one rabbi says it, yeah. why is one rabbi saying it? Yeah. Why? Why do they put the bias aside? Why do they put the bias aside and they realize there's nowhere else that fits the criteria? So it's very, very simple. With one, name the place that matches the criteria. And I if you can't, said, if I, you can't I, name I another know. place that matches the criteria, then you're in no position to say. Mecca doesn't match the criteria. You're in no position to do okay. that. Okay. Well, that, can I can I rephrase? Uh, can I summarize what I think Khalil's argument is here? So what I did was to say, hey, uh, the Kaaba is completely disconnected from uh, historicity and from Abrahamic history. It has no place in it at all, oh. as we can as we can see. Oh, so okay, that's, I'm, that's I'm, been refuted. Can, I'm trying to explain what the premise is. What yeah, my but premise we're just is gonna refute it. Okay, okay. It has no it has no significance in anthropology, it has no connection to Abrahamic history, refuted. is what I said. Is what Pulse. I said. Okay. Pulse. Can I please go ahead and just yeah. summarize your argument? Oh, yeah, you appear very bad here right now, okay? Uh, your response to that, your response to that was yes. It is connected to Abrahamic tradition, and I can prove it because there is uh, a certain thing called the Valley of Bakka, which apparently refers to Mecca, and you cannot prove that it refers to anywhere else besides Mecca. And my proof that it refers to Mecca is that there is a, a, well, a well and a house of God in Mecca, which means it refers to that place, and that's the absolute proof that it is connected to the Abrahamic religion. That was your entire premise. If I did anything wrong, if I did injustice to your premise, to your argument, Point it out, please. But that is exactly what you did. Your argument is it fits the criteria of having uh, a spring and a house of worship, and that's why it is Mecca. Great. So you can't really have, look, if I said there's a place with Big Ben... What, what, was that wrong? And a London that wrong? Eye, was that wrong? No, if was I say there's a place with Big Ben and the London Eye, and um, where's in the world matches that criteria? That's oh, terrible uh, logic. Wait there. The wait there. Wait there. It could be London. Wait, 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 wait. Stop, stop. There might be another place that has Big Ben and a London Eye. That's your okay. argument. Pathetic. Okay. Okay. Can I tell you what the correct analogy would be? The correct analogy would be that there is a tower with a, a Ferris clock. wheel. Yeah. That and, would be the correct if, analogy. Okay, okay. But then if Mecca it does be fit that... Ca <laughs> right. And even if then, and they we say we make it more vague like you just did, and we say that it's a, there's a Ferris wheel and a big clock. Okay. Now, to say that London fits that, ca that criteria isn't false. Not entirely, yeah. Right. Good. Good. So, okay. So now, now the question is: is right if there is a list of criteria, yeah, a list of characteristics of this place, and we can offer you one that being Mecca, you can't dismiss it. You can't say that it's a, a ridiculous argument because there's a criteria that's been given, and this criteria is met by Mecca. Now you can say you can offer a counter suggestion and say, well, you know, it, it could be this place, it could be that place, it could be that place. Now, if there's a fief, and there's a lot of evidence. And you know, there's we've got video footage of a man with a blue top on and green pants, and you know he's got a particular weapon in his hand. And then later on, we find a man who's got a blue top and certain pants, and he happens to have this particular knife. And we say, well, we have this man here. We think it's him. He match it matches the criteria, and we can't find anyone else who matches this criteria. So we've got good evidence to suggest that this is the person. Now, if you then come along and say, well, no, there could be other people with blue tops and green pants. So well, who? I don't need, I don't know. I don't know. I don't, you know, I don't know. It could be. It's possible. No one's going to take that opposition <coughs> as a serious counter. Okay. Um, 
what you know what I think? Uh, if we had a text which suggested, which which was about, let's say, Berlin, okay? It's about Berlin, and Berlin is a, is a center of entertainment. And we read a text from this uh, place in Berlin, from this club in Berlin, which says uh, it was it's really enjoyable that uh, these people, when they uh, come to our place of entertainment, pass through uh, the secret bridge okay and now we uh go through his now we go through the geography and we find that there is also uh a certain secret bridge in france uh, right at paris where people also go to a club to have entertainment at the center of a cult you cannot say well okay that fits the criteria let me, which is let why me that is let me respond to that that's very quickly. basically what that is let me respond to that very quickly okay sure See, right. you're not being genuine here everyone no, stop let, that let, let, let i'm trying to argue with you let go me ahead. tell you why let me tell you why I'm going to back up my claim, unlike you. Now, everybody can witness this. Because now, the example you gave... Okay, look, don't get frustrated. It's okay, relax. It's the conversation. Okay, but if you if you go with personal you attacks, so every, every normal relax. person will be really frustrated. Just, it's okay, it's okay. Don't be frustrated. Just before okay. you speak, Khalil, just, I'm no. not going to speak. Just before you speak, everybody in the chat, thumbs up, thumbs down, do we get rid of him? Go on, carry on, Khalil. Okay, thank you. All right, so look, you made it seem like it's the example you drew this has nothing to do with what I've been talking about for the past hour, you and I. Okay, that's an, if you you, because it's an analogy. Sure, go okay. ahead. No, it's a very false and short and this genuine anal analogy. It's not very genuine because you made it seem as some bridge that you pass by to get to some club or some cult. If mm -hmm. that happens, we're not mm -hmm. going to say this. Of course not. We're not talking about a bridge here. Mm -hmm. We're talking about geographic location mm -hmm. at a place which happened to be sanctuary, which happened to commemorate and celebrate the saving of the firstborn of Abraham, which happened to have people do sacrifice there because of this reason, which happened to be a place for congregation of prayer, which happened to be called Beit El or Beit Allah, which happened to also be a place for the word pilgrimage is used there in the Psalm. Literally a place for pilgrimage called House of God that is outside of Jerusalem. And I explained the reason why it's outside of Jerusalem. I give you five, six criteria about a place that exists today. And a prophet came out of that area and happened to be in the Bible for some reason. Okay. You're dismissing all this. And you can see, like, oh, but if I pass by a bridge to get to a club, I'm not going to say a bridge. This is ridiculous. Okay. Can I give and you a final, final response to why I disagree with that, which I already did earlier? Do you mind if I add as well? Sure, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. Because it's, it's related to it. Um, so you also asked, well, why are there no rabbis that are saying this or Christians that are saying this today? Um, well, they have good reason not to, because if they do admit to this, then they need to become Muslim. Exactly. Now, that's so that, that's one thing. That. I mentioned that to him. But you've already said that. Okay, so that's 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 it is. Are you telling me that's not a good reason? Because it's the same with regards to you could make the same claim with the Muslims. And you say we have good reason to, like, sort of be motivated to believe that this is Mecca. I, th I think the original point was that uh, that there is no historical reference to the Kaaba or, or any significance in biblical tradition and scripture at all, except a vague reference apparently. What's your criteria? Is... What's your criteria? What's your? Criteria? I just want to know. Hey, you, I want to know your criteria. Please... Fine, I'm, I apologize. I'm sorry. Go ahead. But what is your question of historical evidence, please? Okay. What it, what it looks like is you have a vague reference within biblical scripture to a place and you connect different puzzle pieces in order to make it look like this is uh, Kaaba, Mecca. First off, when we refer to... What is your criteria? Can you please let me explain? When, when we refer to... We, we, have, we, refer we have a to, name. We have a name, for God's sake. When, so we, when, when we refer to Bekka, Valley of Bekka, Bekka is, is once mentioned as a random battlefield of, uh, along along the places where uh, the no, kings... No, it's, it's a place and, for pilgrimage. Okay, and, and once, okay, and once it is mentioned as a valley that people go through while it's going to Zion. While, while, no. going to, while going no, to Zion. No, that's not what it says, no. That's not what it says. You know, yes, it, that's it's, a problem. It's a, it literally no. says in Psalms uh, 84. No. It, correct no, me if I'm wrong. No, okay. no. Okay, it doesn't I will, say that. I will, okay, I will look it up. The problem is that you're reading okay. it in English. That's the problem. Okay. Okay. If I'm wrong, I will correct myself right uh, what here. What language are you reading, first of all? English. What language are you, okay. Which, which, uh, which, which book are you using? Blessed are, you? are those whose strength is in you. Whose no, no, no. no wait, wait. As NIV, they pass KJV. Listen to me. Listen to me. Okay, I'll go to KJV. I was just reading NIV. Let's go to KJV. Listen to me. Listen to me. What all is saying there, passing through a place to get to this place. Okay, okay. okay. that means like a deep place, also means like a valley. That's what it's like. Same cognate in Arabic. Inside, somewhere deep. Okay, describing the place. People go to it in congregation to do pilgrimage. What, what, what's in this place, Baka? Something called Beit El. Okay, um, wait, wait, I was wait, wait. I was I was speaking. You interrupted me. Let me let me let me ask a question. For Can't the, bothered. The, Sorry, mate. Thumbs up and thumbs down of, of giving away. Can I respond? Can I? So we're gonna get rid of you. Can I, can I right. talk now? 